all you got? Let me explain this, okay? So my uncle passed away earlier this year. So I'm laughing and it's, you know, gotta make light of the situation. By the way, you can't live without this Palmer's Coca Bar, okay? So he, the pandemic took my uncle, you know, it's taken a lot of people. Now we're starting off on a, a morbid and this was in one of his wardrobes. I have no idea why he has this. It's like an old granny's thing. And I thought I'm gonna save it for Christmas and use it in one of my Christmas videos. So here I am for my uncle doing this. And today we're gonna be watching Violent Night with David Harbour and John Liguizamo. I think his name is John Liguizamo or Zamo. I first saw him in The Sun of Sam, which was um, about a serial killer, a true story about a serial killer years back. He also played Benny from the Bronx in, what was that movie that I'm always always going on about? The one with um, Al Pacino, Carly Oseway, played Benny from the Bronx and he was also a Capulet. What was his name? He was the Capulet in Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. So I've always liked him. He was a bit in a bit of controversy over the last couple of months because he was saying that certain people can't act as certain races in movies. So I can't remember it was now. It was like, like a white person playing a Puerto Rican or something like this. Oh no, that's what it was. It was about the fella who's doing um, Super Mario Brothers. Who's the fella? You know, um, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. And John Liguizamo said he don't believe that Chris Pratt should play Super, uh, Mario because he's white, he's not Italian. Bit of a stupid thing for him to say because I'm pretty sure that he is either Puerto Rican, Cuban or Colombian or something like that. And he played a white American in Son of Sam. Capulet was a Catholic, a white Catholic I'm pretty sure of. And other movies, in um, um, what's the other one as well? I love, oh my God. He played Toulouse Lautrec in Moulin Rouge. Uh, Baz Luhrmann's Moulin Rouge. If you've not seen that, that's an absolutely wonderful movie. That's just an incredible movie. Baz Luhrmann who also done Romeo and Juliet but yeah I thought it was a bit of a silly thing for John Leguizamo to say because acting is exactly that it's acting it doesn't really matter as long as you don't change historical things I think anyone can play anyone in a movie like you can't really have Mark Wahlberg play Nelson Mandela do you know what I mean it's a bit silly isn't it so but other than that I quite like him as an actor I always have done and David Harbour of course <laughs> Hopper from Stranger Things, who we all, you know, love. He's become like a household name these last few years. And he is playing Santa Claus, I believe, in this movie. So I don't know much about it. It's an age 15 rating. So I expect it's going to be quite funny. I'm thinking maybe something a little bit like Krampus, where it's like horror, slasher, bit of blood, bit of gore, but it's also going to have like a moral to the story, a bit, you know, bit like, yeah, like I say, like Krampus. And I, do you know what I found out as well? After watching Krampus, you lot probably knew the guy who directed it was the same guy who done, what was the Halloween one with the little dude with the sack over his head called Sam, who I thought was amazing. We watched it on a track, uh, trick or treat, same director. And it's funny because when I was watching Krampus, I was like, ah, oh, this reminds me a bit of trick or treat. And I didn't know it was the same director, but it had that same feeling, the way that it was shot and uh, the story like remember and respect the festival or bad Santa will come or bad demon child will come to make you remember Halloween. So maybe, maybe this movie will be something similar. I don't know, but I'm seeing that in a lot of these kind of movies where it's like to forget the dream of Christmas, you will be punished. Maybe I'll be wrong. Enough of me talking rubbish. I thought I would give you a little bit of extra talking because it's uh, coming up to Christmas. Yeah, and I hope you have a lovely Christmas, everyone, wherever you are in the world. Even if you don't celebrate it and it's not your faith, I hope you have, you know, a happy holidays or whatever you're doing anywhere in the world. Let's get Grogu set up there, bruv. You cool, dude? You saying, blood? What are you saying, fam? We're going to have to get a woman next year, you know? Honestly, bruv, we can't fucking do this forever. Like, we've got to get a woman involved, you know what I'm saying? another seat there no no i uh, know no she's not going to take your seat i'm just saying that someone might have to and you can like sit in between do you know what i mean or maybe we could get you like a female grogu and get you a little thing over there you know what i'm saying you could have a wee you know what i mean no that's what i'm saying double date yeah bruv it you get me yeah. Right, so anyway, let's get into this one. This is David Harbour, John Leguizamo, Violent Night. Let's do this.
Nice song to start us off. Universal Pictures presents. I was getting the vibes of uh, Bad Santa to start off straight away in the bar. That's another one. If you guys not seen that, you've you've all seen it anyway. Bad Santa, amazing. You just get off. Between shifts, I guess you could say. You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the reindeer do most of the work. Don't tell me he's a real Santa Claus. Fourth year as a Santa. How about you? I forget why I started doing it in the first place. It's about the message again. You see, people have lost it. That's how this world works. They're little shits. They just demand. <laughs> They just want, that's rave, true. consume. That's not just kids, mate. That's his generation. Maybe this is my last year, the last Christmas. Is he the real Santa Claus? Merry How do you know my grandson's name? That dog is to the roof. My guy's the real Santa Claus, bruv. Oh no, I didn't realize this was going to be like that. Oh, that's sick, bruv. And Santa's losing faith. That's a good one. Bruv, imagine seeing that. Yeah, but then I'd be saying, why the fuck have I been buying presents all these years? <laughs> oh my God. That is disgusting. It definitely took that from uh, Bad Santa though. Merry Christmas, Daddy, you filthy animal. Yeah, how am I lying? The aftershave. I'm not doing it for you. Okay. It's Christmas! Right, so there are a couple that are separated. We need to get them back together then. What did you ask Santa for? Not to work on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Must have been naughty this year, because here I am. Know that feeling. Merry Christmas, Al! Um... Merry Christmas. That little girl reminds me of my sister. She's still like this. I'm dreading it. She's going to be here Christmas Day. Like, she's sleeping over Christmas Eve, and I'm dreading it. Well, Christmas Eve will probably be tonight. I'll probably put this out Christmas Eve. Well, if this is before Christmas Eve, then Christmas Eve. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hope you're on the nice list. That is actually his voice. That was insane. I'm glad I don't do nothing massive like that at Christmas. I like it quiet, just with like a couple of family members, that's it. I like the, you know what I mean? Hey, look at that. Now that's a Christmas tree. Hey. Going, Alpha. <laughs> you gained weight. <clears throat> oh wow, that's what every woman wants to hear. I think this is the year that mom's gonna kick herself upstairs and choose one of us to start running the show. Are they talking about death? Sorry about my sister. Oh, it's that dude, the good looking dude from Never Back Down and um, Twilight. He's got a weird name like Cam, Cam Cabby Cab or something like that. <laughs> well, you remember Bert, my sister's pride and joy. Yeah. Uh, locker living that fling life. Fry him in the fire. He just got what I can only assume will be his first of many sexual harassment accusations. Mom paid off the school. Oh! If I was on one of those planes, 9-11 would have ended with a bunch of terrorists skydiving over Connecticut. Right, he's a douchebag then. Ooh. Kiss me in front of my son. Mm -hmm. That is weird. He's been doing an Oscar-worthy job of pretending to find my sister appealing. <laughs> Nice. Why don't you take your best offer, gift wrap it, and ram it up your... Sounds nice, doesn't she? Look at Mr. Cool back here. Yeah, what's your angle, man? No angle. Yeah, see, they're all driven by money, greed, and BS. You know something we don't. Shut what is it? I like this sister. She's a good actress. I don't know who she is, but I like her. What is there like... Is there like a... <laughs> He's called her a bitch. Trudy. Well, that makes her sound like a whore. Okay. Wow. Let's eat. And mom, I think I would hate I would hate such a formal Christmas occasion like that. I think it's better to have uh, like I say like this bruv. Like come in, open a bottle of jack. You know what I'm saying? Just chilled. I think the little girl is gonna be the key to restoring his faith in Christmas. She's gotta be. If you could have anything from Santa this year, what would it be? This house has so many chimneys. How is Santa know which one to come down? That's a good point. It's a good question. 
Daddy never took me to see Santa at the mall this year. I never got to tell Santa what I wanted for Christmas. So they've recently separated, okay. Two minutes. What's he gonna do? Is he looking for an old Santa hat or something or a... We decided that you could have one gift. <gasps> Early. Really? I bet it's something that she doesn't want. What is it? That is a very special walkie-talkie. That's magic. Oh, you're kidding me. Is a direct hotline of Santa Claus himself. Bro. Hello, Santa. This is Trudy Waitstone. Oh, that's so sweet. Legendary thinking by Pops there. One Top G. Santa. Yeah, she's like, yo, so that's got some points. You want to come upstairs for a bit? Of... I really only want one present for Christmas. My mommy and daddy back together. I want mommy and daddy to make up. Oh. oh, let's hope that that can work. I hope it's like a work related thing where he's always putting work first or she is and it could be fixed. I hope so. You can't go two seconds without crapping on the roof like a bunch of pigeons. <laughs> I can't believe he's a real Santa, I still can't believe it. Hmm. Never a fan of those candy cane things. Not really. Is that a cookie? <laughs> Love a cookie. <laughs> uh, is that like milk and whiskey? That's nasty, bruv. Is that a massage chair? I bet that's good. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's the one behind it all and uh, that's why he was checking his watch and setting the timing, gotcha. So they're gonna rob the rich family. Oh, her as well. Dreaming the dream, you know. They say the richest man. This is one thing I hate about this generation with social media. So obsessed with self-image. You need to get one of these, bruv. There he is. Merry Christmas. Or should I say happy holidays now, right? I'll call you a two. Oh, that's some ball. Oh my God, my guy that didn't even want to work just to... Right, I hope he gets thrown off a cliff, this guy. John Leguizamo, you piece of shit. We got out from under my mother's thumb. Leave. I've got a woman like her, a beautiful woman like her, a beautiful kid. Leave, bro. <laughs> Oh, this definitely isn't a kid's film then. Like, they're proper going for it, these, like, executing people. Oh, he's at that house, Santa. Come on, Santa. Okay, she's a badass. Let's go. She's a bit of a meanie. She's going for the panic room. Without us? These people are so selfish, man. <laughs> he's just walking around like, what? Wow. You're supposed to protect us. We protect the primary asset. Gutted. You can call me Mr. Scrooge. Why don't you shoot him then? Why didn't you just shoot him? Retarded. Ah, humbug, motherfucker. And you're dead because you didn't shoot him. Idiots. Tinsel, peppermint, swoop upstairs. I want all the light stones together. Yo, is Santa invincible? This old toad ginger breath. Is it because he's drunk? Oh, that's a long drop. Oh no, he's behind the Christmas tree. Hey, uh, I'm just gonna scooch up that chimney. Oh dear. Enough talk. Let's go. There's your answer. He can get hurt. Go on, Santa. Oh dear, they're gonna leave. <laughs> Why didn't the others hear the bullets either? Inside thigh. Out the window. Have a nice trip, matey. Did he just fall all of that way? Oh wow, oh my god. The guy's just been skewered through the chest, bruv. 
At least he got the point. No, he's still got his bloody biscuits, though. Do you have any idea who you're fucking with? I don't think he cares, darling. There you go. The little angel in the window. You can't walk away, brother. Can't leave a little princess in there. Nah, it's not in your nature. It's a bizarre movie. It's kind of like a vibe of Die Hard with Santa Claus. <laughs> Dad sent in our own private extraction team and Roy was home safe and sound a week later. And the kidnappers were never found, if you get me. That's not gonna happen here, sweetheart. See, I know a lot, Gertrude, but you have 300 million in US dollars sitting in your personal vault downstairs. Wow. Talk all you want, you'll never get in the vault. Damn, well, I don't think the mum's gonna make it and by the sounds of it, it don't sound like she should. She sounds quite a nasty bit of work, really. Hello, Santa? You're kidding me. Are you there? This is brilliant. And he's really going to hear it. You're kidding me. How funny is that? Somebody asked for a bastard, a sword, or a Molotov cocktail. How does he call back the reindeers? I don't know how he does it. Go on, Santa. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Watch your hands, mate. I'm going to rip your fucking balls off. No, you're not. <laughs> Watch your nuts. Darts, darts. Yeah, the glass things. I was about to say that just now. One in the eye. Oh my god. Told ya. <laughs> That's shocking. All the excitement just went to his head. You could see the way he walked in here, though. He was a bit of a hothead. Hello, can anybody hear me? Can you hear me, Santa? That's brilliant. Hello? Santa? Oh, that's so silly, but so wonderful. Daddy said you were very busy tonight. I'm on a break. Who, who am I speaking to? I told you she'd be like the saviour. There's two bad men with guns watching us. Oh, wow. Are you going to help us, Santa? They had my name there, Ramon. <laughs> I'm not a naughty boy. I'm going to take a lump of coal off each and every one of them and shove it right up the ass. Can't say that to kids, mate. Come on. I got a call for help and the phone lines are down. You probably know this house better than anybody. You got any suggestions? That's so funny, though. Santa Claus and her teaming up. Well, he looks jolly as fuck, but who the hell is he? Santa Claus. Yeah. See? A nice, innocent fella taken out. Your friend is dead. Uh, he got a star in his face <laughs> and his head caught on fire. It's <laughs> John McClane, see, this is copying Die Hard, big time. Loser, ex-cop stuck in a mob playing dress up with fat kids pissing on your lap. Stop me when I get it right. Bad Santa. To wipe my ass with you in this whole fucking holiday. That is a terrible thing to want for Christmas. <laughs> is that blood? Oh, dear. So he can get... He can get hurt. Who's playing Santa at your fucked up Christmas party? It's Santa Claus, you idiot. Damn, Gertrude. You really got a thing for nutcrackers, huh? <laughs> Who should I pick first? The pig Jason. Wow. Don't, 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 no, no, no. Are you serious? They just snapped his finger, bruv. Okay, candy cane. Stick one of his Bozaks in there. No, thank you. Of course, it'd be Krampus. Krampus. Yeah, exactly. It'd have to be Krampus. Oh no, bruv. Are you serious? No, bruv. Here we be. Stop running my daddy. Good girl. Santa's my friend and he said he's going to save us. No. And beat you up. Yay. Come on now. Yes, I am. Damn it, Trudy. Santa isn't real. Uh-oh. That was a douchebag thing to do. Santa's just the thing adults tell kids to make them feel better, okay? Oh, my God. He is an Hole. Your mommy and I give you the presents. Oh my god. To save your own skin, so he's a piece of shit. He's all made up. Really? He didn't know. Is he covered in ink? Go on, bro. Gangster Santa. Wax. Is he doing a Rambo job? Oh, that's got to hurt, mate. Damn. What the heck is going on? What? This is Trudy. Are you okay, Santa? 
He's having a sleep, darling. Are you okay? I'm good. Uh, I was just wrapping something up. <laughs> I can set up booby traps like an home alone. Yeah, do that. Just do it quietly. So she's going to set up some traps. Good stuff. But I still bring presents to kids that need me. Kids who really believe. All right, I believe. Trudy Lightstone wrote to me, said that she felt lonely sometimes. She missed having a best friend. Oh. And you said you had this amazing dream and that afterwards all you wanted to do was... To fly! Oh, how feel good. Making a little girl fly. But giving she... you a kite. Making a little girl fly, she, he's going to make that dream come too. She's going to on the sleigh with the reindeers. Oh, wicked. I knew it. I knew you were real Santa. I love her. She's a little princess, isn't she? So this could be your only chance. Come on, where's the Christmas spirit? I hate you, Krampus. Gertrude, uh, I got you something pretty special. Did you hear that, Gertrude? No, he didn't. It's called Explosive Force. Starring me. And if you look in the back, there are the financial numbers. Oh dear. See, it's all about money. Granny doesn't like it. Mother, I got you something really special. So it's all about, it's all, again, it's all to do with money and what can you do for me. Sentimental photo of the day I was born. I was there. She doesn't give a shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely Krampus. It's Jason's turn. Uh, I didn't get you nothing. I think I left it in the car. No, I, I saw you put one under the tree earlier. Oh, this kid's a little asshole. Yeah. It's this one, right? Yeah, I got you, bro. I think they all are, to be honest, except for the, the mum and the daughter. What is it? Thank you, Jason. What? What's the card say? I think I'll just keep that between Jason. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Right, Jason. Right? Did he say, I hate you and I don't want nothing to do with you anymore? Maybe something like that and maybe she's twigged and gone, he's, he's finally woken up. Maybe. Nick him in the red. So was he like a Viking or something? I was a warrior. If somebody got in my way. Me and Skullcrusher. Wow. Skullcrusher is my uh, His hammer. My hammer. Oh, nice. I was greedy. I wanted gold, jewels. I mean, if there was a naughty list back then, I'd be top dog. This is interesting. This is interesting. Maybe all those bad things you used to do, maybe you can use them to do good things instead. Yeah, but that's what he's been doing as Santa Claus, right? That night, you gave me what I wished for. Best friend. Because you're good. It's an interesting concept of what they're going with this movie, though. It's good. I like what they're doing. Like, I'm not getting it too emotionally attached at the moment, but I can see why people would. It's it's a good story. Now, some idiot gets wow. in your way. Well, what these, do you do? These are all going to get wiped out straight away. Kind of like Die Hard 2, isn't it? They're all going to get wiped out straight away. And it's in the snow, like Die Hard 2. I definitely think it's taken a lot from... Uh, the John McClane series, like I really do. Merry Christmas. Uh oh. Shreya. <laughs> I got him in the east wing. Why don't you shoot him? I'm saying that a lot. Like people are in a position to take the person out and they don't. Ouch. He's not even armed. The bag is the only thing he had on him. Can't see anything. It really is Santa Claus, that's why, bro. See, it's really him, bruv. Shum dao laurem, jolly old Saint Nick. Very funny. She's doing the Home Alone Kevin McAllister job. Prancer left a tasty log up there. This fucking guy. She believes it. He got laid off in that Christmas. Couldn't even afford a tree. No Christmas dinner, no gifts. Our neighbors, our neighbors, oh, they had it all. And then hate and jealousy sets in. The Gramps got up to take a piss and the two were scared the shit out of each other. Fell down the stairs and, and broke his neck and he died in the hospital. And his life went to hell from then on. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I do Christmas cheer. I don't get involved in people's lives. Yeah, well, maybe you should! People were never happy. Never happy. What's your excuse? Huh? Can I get you that Huffy bike you wanted back in 82? Oh, shit. How does he know about my bike? Lucky guess, like, hey, do you like big tits? <laughs> What's going on? She's making it snow inside, good girl. But it might just save his life. It's not snow. Not snow. 
Oh, nice. You believe now, didn't you, bro? You can't fit up there. It's impossible. When you see one weird thing and then you think you're in a fairy tale. We're coming, we got sleigh bells. Right, that's one person convinced. And that is the sound of my kill squad. What are you gonna do, you little elf bitch? Punch him. Yes, that was a good hit. What? Oh, you chicken shit. Morgan's gonna save us. He's gonna run away. Bunch of ex-military guys. I gotta warn you, they know you're coming. They better be. Oh my God. Similar to um, Die Hard 2, the bad guys are the good guys that are actually the bad guys. Time to kill Santa. Look at that, I got eyes on him. Oh, they've seen him then. <laughs> Flipping heck. I'm flushing my career for this. Yeah, well then you can buy yourself a new rep. That's an insane vault, isn't it? It's all there. Or is it? Is this a fucking joke? My intel was rock solid. I had guys on the inside. What? Somebody must have intercepted it, son of a bitch. What am I missing? I'm sorry, I think this is it, kid. Don't say that. Naughty list. Just grows and grows. He's losing faith, isn't he? He's in that structure. How the heck is he getting out of this? If you could have anything in this world, what would it be? My hammer. Stop! Hammer time! They're right outside! Oh dear, oh dear. He's gonna go on a sick one, isn't he? Oh! And in the knees. Watch your head. <laughs> My God. What? Uh, what if you randomly shoot the only person who knows where it is? Fuck you, people! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Have that. Oh, no, no, no. Down the pants. Oh, that is so bad. He literally blew his f***ing box up. Tell me where the fucking money is. Blow her brains out unless you tell me where the money went. I did it! I f***ing should have said something. I was thinking it 20 minutes ago and he wrote it down on the paper. I was planning to take the money and leave with my wife and daughter tonight and never- He's the biggest piece of shit of them all. I'm so disappointed. For years, I have been telling you to stop caring about your mother's fucking money. Scumbag. Look at this little idiot. Ah, uh, traps. Good girl. You know, booby traps don't work unless you hide them. That's all part of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's the best one in the movie. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. I know it's CGI, but it's still disgusting. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's definitely a violent... More, oh dear, bye bye. A violent version of Home Alone. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. The ball is going to land on it and straight into his head. Told you. Oh. What is that stuff? Uh, oh my god! That's all you got? <laughs> <laughs> Good hit. Yay. I made booby traps like in the movie. It was so funny. <laughs> She's amazing. Oh, I love her. Oh my god. Cold hard cash. Load it up, boys. Kill the hostages and meet us outside. Oh wow. You gotta kill Atlanta first. What the hell? Oh. Don't you call him a little shit, you gold digging bitch. What? I've just figured out who that is. Why don't you? That's the guy who's in Freddy vs. Jason who tries to warn everyone that Freddy's coming back. <sighs> I think you got him. <laughs>
He's definitely gone now. <gasps> Trudy! Mommy! Trudy and Santa Claus. Hey! I can't thank you enough, Mr. Claus. Santa Claus. I don't like that dad anymore. I thought he was cool at the beginning, but no, I don't like him. Straight over the head. He just smashed his knees, like his leg just snapped. She's safe. Oh, thank God. He's a douchebag. Why would you take this guy back? He's an asshole. <laughs> oh, like a sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect landing. Come on. Come on. Yeah, over here. Yeah, well it's obviously it's obviously a trap. Why do it? Why do it? Why would you do it? Out of bullets. Didn't go too well for you, did it? Naughty. It's real. You're seeing it for yourself. Goddamn Santa Claus. This whole goddamn holiday finally ends. Idiot. Christmas dies tonight. Yep, obviously nick that from Halloween. It's about to get real hot in there. Come on, Santa. Oh, damn. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Like Maximus. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? But Santa Claus is gonna die, ain't he? He just got shot three times. Well, she made him start believing again in the spirit of Christmas. It's okay, it's okay. You know. But he's gonna die. The money. I got an idea. Yeah. That's so dumb. Like, that's gonna save him. Is it gonna save him? Can't die, Santa. I have to get up. I think I used up all my Christmas magic. He needs the magic of people believing. Just wake up. Oh, I am so, so sorry. This brave, brave man, whoever he was. This dad's a fucking idiot. I hate him. He's the biggest prick in the whole movie, the dad. I don't like him. He saved Trudy. He saved our family. What's realer than that? The word realer because realer isn't in the dictionary. I believe in him too. I guess I do too. Yeah, but it's not genuine. It's not genuine, bruv. Oh, oh my God. Santa! I still don't really understand how it works. I mean, I'm glad he's alive, but I thought that was absolutely sucked because there's, these people are scumbags, bruv. They didn't believe. They don't believe. We just burned half a million dollars. See, they haven't changed. She don't believe, she just said it. Words don't mean nothing, bruv. Oh God, I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> like... Wasted opportunity, the reindeer should have been in it more. It's Christmas Eve and there's a lot of boys and girls on the nice list that want their presents, you know. Man, he's got a flipping tough night, hasn't he? You gave me my whole, whole, whole back. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have let anyone hurt over it either. Definitely not. <laughs> Alcoholic Santa. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you guys. Let's get into our review, shall we? <laughs> First off, let's talk about the good. I really liked David Harbour as Santa Claus and I liked the story because I was expecting this to just be about a family in a town getting robbed. I wasn't expecting it to actually be about the Santa Claus and a guy with magic and losing his way. I like that it was set around a family revolving around greed because as you know, there's a lot of people in the world who are greedy and self-centered and this reflected a lot of that, especially mentioned in social media as well with the young kid. And yeah, I thought that was really, really good. The things I didn't like about the movie, there's two things in particular. Number one, I think it paid homage to a lot of films like Bad Santa in particular with like a drunk Santa Claus. I also think it paid nods to like Home Alone, of course, with the little girl Home Alone. I liked those things, but I thought it got a little bit too much because as I was watching it, all I felt like I was watching was a merger of all of those films and especially Die Hard with someone on the the, the uh, intercom and 
John McClane, like in the movies, in the building, it was John McClane and the police officer. The here it was Santa Claus and the little girl, it was the same story. So I get what they were trying to do, but it just kind of threw me out a little bit. The second thing that I didn't like and I was disappointed with is the girl's dad, because at the very beginning when he gave her the uh, the walkie-talkie, I was like, yeah, he's, he's thinking, he's thinking, yeah, he seemed like a nice guy. And the way that he stood back when the mum was introduced, I was like, ah, oh, right, maybe he's learnt the error in his ways and he's learning to appreciate that family and his child are the most important thing. That's what I thought. When it, it was discovered that he was the one that stole the money, it just, I lost my faith in it. Like, in him as a character, I thought, you're a piece of <laughs> mate. I really don't like you. And then at the very, very end, when he was he was shot, and they said, oh, we, you know, it was obvious that he needed his magic back in order for him to survive, come back to life. And I was like, cool, I believe the little girl and maybe believe her mum. The dad was a piece of shit. He didn't mean what he said, nor did her mum, nor did the, the, the son, you know, the social media boy, and nor did the, the other mum. So it's like, they weren't genuine. When they said, oh, I believe in Santa Claus. No, you don't. Like, you're full of Because straight afterwards, she was like, oh, you burnt the money. So really, they're just greedy mother Do you know what I'm saying? So nothing was really learnt to me. The only thing that came from this, the little girl and the spirit of Christmas has redeemed in her to get her mum and dad back together, and Santa Claus has come back to believe in which I think was good. I loved that story. I just didn't particularly like some of the characters in it. Even though I was quite harsh on the bad rating, I still say this is an eight out of 10 Christmas movie and the majority of people will love this movie. I really, really enjoyed it. I just thought there was a few too many throwbacks to other films, that's all. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I quite enjoyed this movie. I'll be back with more soon, but until then, I'll see you in the next one. My name's Roman. this is Hit On Miss TV. Peace.